<laughs> okay. Welcome to another Soul Forge Monday. Uh, I gave it some thought about what I wanted to do today. And I believe the Weekend Warrior thing is still going, so... Clearly, time for hilarity. This goes okay. till midnight. Welcome to another Soul Forge Monday. Oops. Uh, I gave it some thought about what I wanted to do today. And I believe... Good job at not muting that. I need to Clearly, keep stuff Time for hilarity. I'm the best at not muting stuff, man. I know. Will I find people? No one knows. What is it? It ends at midnight. Let's go. It says I can keep going. It's just recommended I try to finish my result. Look, we all know if I play regular draft, it's just going to be like, what, four Zutera and then maybe something else like Necrium and Call to Life. The way I see it, hilarity can ensue this way. Oh, man. Done. Battle tech. Oh wow, Grimgod's also pretty good. Oh man, this is hard, dude. Grimgod and Battle Technician are like really great picks. But I think Battle Technician is better. That Universal Pump, man. Carpool is pretty diluted, so uh, Battle Technician it up. Noxious Cloud, forced myself into a Terra. That's pretty good, right? If I force myself into a Terra, I can try to grow wide. Hey, wait, wait a minute. It doesn't matter. What am I. Wait, isn't this four faction draft? I can have as many factions as I want, right? So, I just picked the best card out of all these. What am I doing? Forge Plate Sentry it is. Level 3 Bomb. Technosmith. Gloom Fiend. Gloom Fiend is amazing in draft. There's no way not to pick this card. <laughs> yes! Let's pick the Avatar right now. If I know five people will fight, we'll play regular draft. Everybody can watch me, like, basically seal a derp wooded up. Alright, I guess out of all these cards, I'm taking the stag, I guess. Okay, this just got really crappy really quick. <laughs> oh! Uh, not bad. This card, on the other hand, is also pretty good in draft. Uh, gotta go for the consistent card. Gotta go for it. Wow, I don't like any of these cards. <laughs> uh, no, I'd rather not. Fine, Ghastly Touch. Oh, I already have three spells. This is great. Okay, Grove Huntress, you're pretty good. Lightning Spark, I have too many spells. Wayward Patriarch? Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess. I don't even have people that can trigger off of this. Whatever, always take Wayward Patriarch in draft, right? Right? Ooh, Necro Slime, you're pretty good. This is such a hodgepodge. Maybe I took the Heavy Artillery. Nah, I'll take the Necro Slime. I need creatures. Oh, bear. Windmill slammed me this bear. Ally, that doesn't seem as good in four-faction four draft. Uh, this card would have been hilarious to bank on. I don't really want to build that deck. We're going to go with the bear. Even though he doesn't trigger with my wayward, but if I learned anything, you don't really pick synergies. Just pick, pick dudes, solid bodies, over any time you can. None of these are really solid bodies. I guess this is an okay body. This card can be annoying. The rest of these cards... Eh, eh. 610 level 2. Eh, I'll go with this guy. This has become such a pile. <laughs> Venom Flang, okay. You're not a spell. So. Oh my god, so many spells. Sparkbot it is. Vengeful Spirit, you do stuff. Halfway through. Matrix Warden. Windmill Slam. Although this card is also really good. But I think Matrix Warden is better. Plus 5, plus 8, plus 12. It's 3, 5, 10. So actually Matrix Warden is not better. <laughs> oh, but Matrix Warden I can play on f as not as an underdrop. But I think you almost always play Matrix Warden as an underdrop. Clearly, I should pick this card, because I can play as rank 2 and then play like rank 1 Wayward Patriarch and hope for the best. No synergy with Patriarch. Whatever. 
I'm picking this guy. Pick the underdrop. Picking as many pseudo consistent cards, overload cards as I can, and consistent cards as I can. See how this goes. Uh, oh, Fangwood Ravenger is solid. Nope, let's go with this. Ooh, Shambler. I love me some Shambler. I don't care about Weaver Patriarch anymore, clearly. Savage Oath. Do I believe in Savage Oath? No, because I only have five green creatures, unfortunately. The Grove Matriarch is solid. Oh man, Shaper! Wait a minute, no. Ooh, Marrow Feed. Oh wait, but this guy's amazing. But I don't have a lot of high attack dudes. But War Charger is amazing. I don't have any pumps, though. I have anti-pumps. Uh, should I take Marrow Fiend here as a blocker? No, I'm taking the War Charger. Technosmith or Huntress? I always want a Huntress. I don't really have that many things I want to level. That 2-2 body, I think, I'm really scared of it. I would gladly take a Tangle Sprout at this point. Oh, this draft. I need some more 6 plus bodies, yo. Oh, man. Let's go. <laughs> Now I really should have taken Techno Smith. Or I could take Twin Strength. Oh man. Make my deck even worse. Or even better. No. It's so tempting to soul bind this up, but I don't want to soul bind it up. I'll take a twin strength. Oh god, I don't have creatures. What is this card? Two, three, four. Ugh. Nano Swarm, level gated, meta thingy. I guess I take Nano Swarm. <sighs> wow, this turned really awful. Um, okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we're going six spells. I don't have the jetpack. These stats are actually quite respectable. Even in the... These stats are actually not bad. I can gamble on the jetpack. Uh, I really would rather take the creature. Oh, there's the jetpack I need. I think I take the jetpack at this point. Over over these dudes though? Oh, it's so hard. Alright, take the jetpack and no more spells. Jetpack ends games. Oh man, the seal, the card I don't really want to use, because it's not as good as Seal of Derpwood. Alright, War Charger, you're great. Vengeful Spirit, you're I need more creatures. Hydra, I'll gladly take you. All right, well, this deck is a pile. <laughs> what will happen? The best is if nobody plays and I have to just resign. That'll be the best seven tickets I've spent. I'll just be like, wah, wah, wah. Uh-oh. Looks like no one's playing this format, yo. Rut Rose, I've miscalculated. Rut Rose. Alright, I got a match. I'd much rather go 0-4 actually playing than have to resign. Oh man, I can only play one card. I think if I can only play one card, I play uh, I play Wayward Patriot by himself, right? <laughs> actually, Wayward Patriot's not that good in my deck. Um, he's not that good in my deck. So, uh, I play this guy. Time to play me some Hydras and a Phantom Fang or... Maybe I play this guy who's meh. The best is I can't even I can't even guess. Like if he shows me two factions, I'll be like, does he have removal? Ooh. Who knows? Nobody knows. Ah. 
9.45, getting it done. Getting it done. Oh, I didn't bring my phone on with me to the stream, so I can't do other stuff on that. I mean, I have to pay multiple attention, tons of attention. I see the clock is desync too, because it started above 20. Always a good sign. Always a good sign. Bum 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 bum. Well, that's unfortunate. Wow, those are really good cards. I mean, clearly I'm gonna do this. Do this so he, so his body sucks. And then do I block? I think I can take the four points of damage from the whatever he does. I mean, I have this creature, I might as well play this. Ugh. Screw it. Let's play the Hydra, open lane the Hydra. 9, 10, 14, 15, these are okay stats. This card, man, only for this turn. Eh. Sort of meh. I'm gonna play the Hydra. <laughs> I'm playing the Hydra. Hey, Binkley, I'm okay. I mean, pss. hey, Zenry, I'm okay. How are you doing? Trying this four faction stuff. I went 1 3 last time. Um, who knows what happens this time? Uh, I'm gonna Hydra empty lane and then just eat four damage. Oh man, Gloom Fiend, that's just what the doctor ordered. After that though, I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Killing the Weirwood Ranger is pretty important. This card is legit. I call this card Sokka from uh, Avatar. It's totally Sokka. Wow, this guy's got nothing but bears. Bears all around, I see. I guess I could... What the hell is this? I don't even know what this card is. I see. Okay, that's interesting. That guy forgot to activate his, his bear dude. I have no words. The guy f forgot to activate his bear dude. Um, Alright. So clearly Gloomfiend here, use Gloomfiend ability on the bear, so my Hydra lives with two health. And then Vengeful Spirit here, I guess? What is this level two? Eight, five? I'd rather have the Vengeful Spirit in my pocket. It's a great blocker. <laughs> nice. Oh man. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. As we found out because of the Twitch TV lag, I can't really solicit that much help from the stream, otherwise I time out, so... I gotta do- I gotta be me and do my stuff. And then the stream can just be like, you should've done this. Like in this situation, I play Battle Technician no matter what happens. And I play Necro Slime or I play Grove Huntress? I think I play Grove Huntress. I want the- I want the buff on my Hydra level 2 or Gloom Fiend. That level 2 buff. Plus 3. Like I said, I, I've only done one 4 faction draft and that was 1-3. It's really hard to predict what's going to happen. Because they can have anything. Like, right now he could conflagrate me twice and be like, blam, eat it. He could conflagrate me and do something else. And I'll be like, damn. What a beating.
Pew, 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 pew. But yeah, man, the new draft environment, set three. Everybody uh, figure out how to play against and with Seal of Derpwood, Brood Queens, A for Phages. Basically, assume you're gonna fight Uterra at least two or three out of your four rounds. And assume it's gonna be Uterra and Necrom in at least half of them. That's, uh, that's what I'm learning set three is all about. It's also gotten faster, which is cool. That's what you want. Oh man. What is my opponent thinking? I'm curious. Even if you shoot my Ventral Spirit, I'll still debuff you. I'm glad I hit my Gloom Fiend, but will I hit it next turn? Uh, last move one minute ago. Fair. I noticed my client is communicating a lot with the server. I hope that means I'm not getting, like, lagged or something. Oh, my opponent just took their turn. See, there's a lot of, like, in the upper left corner, you can see it, the icon flash. Well, that's a, that's a big deal. Looks like I'm taking 8 next turn, guys. <laughs> it looks like I'm taking 16. No, it'll die. I'm not blocking that guy. Screw that. Oh, man. Hunger Egg Strike. What a jerk. I play Battle Technician because leveling this card is amazing. I could play the Warlord, War Charger. But I feel the Grove Huntress is better. It works better with the cards I've leveled. Getting that pump to go anywhere will be pretty big. So I guess I'll do this and pump my, my Grove, my Technician. And I'll just take 8 next turn. It's fine. Oh man, I drew two level twos, already looking good. <laughs> and his Evan Skull Knight's gonna die after punching me in the face for eight. Evan Skull Knight, such a great card in draft. Actually, such a great card in constructed too, right? People use this card. Man, so many zombies. What is this? Oh, good thing I have my Gloom Fiend. Time to go open lane city, right? Debuff this zombie, play the play the Venom Fang, poison the matriarch, and then just like empty lane both these people. That's what I want to do. I'm gonna empty lane all day. Oh well, yeah, we can. Uh, <laughs> battle technician is gonna die. This thing will die in three turns? Alright. Oh, that's right. Zipiki has the worst luck with, uh... With the, uh... Zipiki has the worst luck when it comes to... <laughs> when it comes to Ebon Skull Knight. He draws Ebon Skull Knight on, like, turn, uh... X.3 and X.4 all the time. Although this guy... This person... This person drew it on X.3. X.4 is the best. Where you're like, oh man, I got one turn out of this guy. But if he trades, it's okay to play him, Zip. Yeah, remember that. <clears throat> oh no. Can I nano swarm this? Should I nano swarm this? I think I should nano swarm this guy. No, I hate that card. No, you have underdrop people. Oh, you want to live. You think you're going to live, but you're not, because I have this card. Not going to happen. Uh, I don't want the block, because that kills me. The regen's not worth it. I can't wait where Patriot does nothing. I should just Nano Swarm right now. If I Nano Swarm, this thing becomes very little, and my Battle Tactician will live probably another turn. I think that's worth it. 
And then he'll have to block my Venom Fang, even though it has no life, but whatever. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds worth it. I think. This is one of those Binkley moves that may, may totally backfire. I always find it weird that card kills cards like that. Because it like doesn't get a bonus, and then it gets minus attack. And so then it dies somehow, even because it has damage on it. Like, I feel that's counterintuitive, Nano Swarm, how that works. Because it's like, because that card had damage on it, like, when it doesn't get the boost, it goes into negative health and dies. It just seems weird to me. Okay, so I'm down in life, but very slight. His Matrix is going to die. And I'm going to slam these two level twos down and make myself look like a boss. Oh no, Evan Skull Knight. No, my dudes are dead. Do I want to block? No, I don't want to block. Now these guys. I want to buff my... Actually, I'll block his 1-1. One, one. In case he has a pumps or something. Nah, screw that. Let's let's try to live make our battle technician live longer. <laughs> Trading blows left and right, yo. Alright. This is the hand where I kill Evan Skull Knight with. By leveling Tangle Sprout. I mean by leveling Bear. That's what I meant. 1014 is pretty good at level 2. I'm taking 14 points of damage right here. Was this worth it? I don't know. Seal of Derpwood. Oh, wait, he can't. That'll just be plus one, plus one. Oh, that'll work too. Oh, gonna be like that, eh? I see how it is. Get that damage. How smart. That was smart. It's fine. Give me my level two bear. And let me stop this dude right here. Right now. Ah, uh, goodbye, Battle Technician. I missed you. I get to swing for 24. And now I have no board. Oh, Battle Technician level 3 and Jetpack. And Twin Strength. Too bad I don't have another level 3. That would have been amazing. No, my dudes, why? Why you gotta be like that? Dude, I'm totally playing Stag. Actually, why am I playing Stag? I'm playing Vengeful Spirit. Because this is gonna clearly go to player level 4, I think. Although he was forced to play level 2 Bear, which scales really poorly, so... As we all know, being forced to play level 2 bear is not great. Of course, I only have one level 3 in my hand, so what can I play? Okay, Jetpack, try to win the game, no. Twin strength, no. Uh, not worth saving. Not worth saving when we're in the level 3 world. Do I want to gain life? No. I have a decent amount of life. Give me all the vengeful spirits you've got. Yay, Grove Huntress. Boo, uh, not having other level 3s. Man, this game is much harder when you don't have as many consistent cards in your deck. Now he's going to put two level 3s and the game will be on. And I'll be like, ah, well played. Or they will put two level 3s and I'll be like, well played. Well played. Oh man, I think I'm totally playing YouTube recognized music at this point, but whatever.
Well, that's the level three that we want. Save me, Grove Huntress. Save me now, all day long. Should I just regen at this point? No. What does this do? That doesn't save me. Well, he'll have four, and then he'll have six life. I don't think that really does much. I think it's better to play this guy. Actually, no, it's better to play this guy, because... Uh, yeah. Wait, no. There's no way I'm killing this person before player level 4. I really don't think it's going to happen. I don't think I'm going to draw well enough. Uh, so I should level the War Charger. Well, I can hit battle first. My technician is dead. Even if I play the Ghastly Renewal, he'll have three life next turn, which is like nothing. Which is a problem. Grove Hunter's probably also dead. Yeah, the Renewal is not worth it. Not on these dudes. Uh, don't want Tangle Sprout? This card scales awfully. I guess I'll play Tangle Scout and try to try to get this low. Well, these are not the cards you need when you want to put on pressure. <laughs> these are not the cards I need when I want to put on pressure. It's too hard to 4-0, man. A 4-faction draft, BL. It's, it's it or F. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eat my face. There goes all my attack buffs. Well, at least I didn't spend the time on the spell, because we all knew that how that would have worked out. Okay, well, um, there's a trade there. I can put my Forge Place Sentry in the middle, which is probably okay, because I just saw my Battle Technician, which means I won't see it for two more turns. This is sort of awful. And then I should Ghastly Touch. Ghastly touch his warrior, I guess? That's awful. Is it more awful than this? Man, do I want to click on this link? I don't know if I want to click on this link. I mean, I guess we could do this. Guess I can level this guy up. Eh. Okay. I got two level threes, but one of them is Vengeful Spirit. Right. That's the problem with leveling Vengeful Spirit. I remember now. That was not great. Oh, the Indie Gala. Clearly, Five Nights at Freddy's. People have been streaming that. I saw people on my, str on my Twitter totally streaming that. And beating that game. No way, man. More papers, please. More me messing up. That's the best. That's not good. Oh, none of these things are good. It's awful all around, sir. Poison 4, you say? Clearly, I should armor up my Forge Plate Sentry, even though it really won't matter. Uh, actually, yeah, that really doesn't matter. Um, maybe I play Venom Fang and armor up... The Venom Fang, and then play Vengeful Spirit, and I should have to play Corpulent Sandler over there. Because we're going to go to player level 4, so playing level 3s is not the best plan ever. I mean... Forge Plate Sentry ain't going to live. So I guess you could do this. I guess I could do this. I mean, oh man, Venafang is terrible level. Man, my cards have terrible level 3 spells. Open laning them is like, not gonna work, I feel. 
Because they'll get crossed out by level 2 cards. <laughs> Whoops. 9 plus 4 is 13, which is awful. <laughs> um, I mean, you might as well do this. Plus this. I might as well do this, because at least that kills that. He used his Hungering Strike this turn, so I don't think he's... I'm betting he doesn't have another trick. That's a really bad bet. No, I want the middle lane clear. Right? So I can... Because I, I want to draw my Battle Technician. That sounds fair. Activate and give you armor, I guess. And then I want to draw... Oh, I draw a level 3. In case he has a trick to kill my sentry, because who knows? Playing all factions could have drafted, like... Uh... I don't know, something. Clearly, I should be streaming Chess 2, because what would be more hilarious than watching me play Chess 2? I can't think of any other things. <sighs> Especially because I have no idea how to play Chess, so Chess 2 will be even more, even worse. I'll be all like, what is this knight? Why is it moving in L shapes? And then I'll play against a team with all the queens, and I'll be like, I don't know what's going on. And I'll be like, bet to recover your piece. I bet it all. I have no more stones left. Wah, wah, wah. Part of me thinks Venom Fang on the zombie infantry would have been the better play, but I really feel he's got a trick to kill my Sports Plate Sentry. I guess we'll never know. Well, that was fortuitous for me. <laughs> wow. I was really close. That was really close to triggering. That was super fortuitous for me, man. That was like... Wow. I have no words other than that was... Uh, that was super lucky. Can I target myself just just so I can practice? Oh, you can target yourself. Not that it matters, but I mean, clearly, time to open lane this. Do I buff this guy? No. Swing for 19. Try to wrap this up. Play dudes. Over here. Oh man. Plus five attack. That's just enough attack. He has to block my Venom Fang. He has to block all three lanes. For me not to win because I have the pump in my hand. Which is possible if he has one of some of those Utera cards. Alternatively, he could. No, that's all he could do, I think. Yeah, okay. He could also play a card that debuffs my Corpulent Shambler. That's true. Two cards, one of them being the, the Warlord would have worked. Oh man, won a game. Got a ticket. We got there. Oh man, won a game. Better uh, better update my little score here while we search for the next game. Already tying my the best I got last time. All right. There we go, 1-0. It's already 4-0. Until you see this disaster. Okay, well clearly, when you only have one card to play and when you have Battle Technician, you play it. It's okay, we can ride this Battle Technician, I think, to at least two wins. 
I'm by everything else, but... Grove Matriarch, War Charger time, here we go. Mary Pedrick does nothing in my deck. He's actually a liability. He's like a Nambo with Battle Technician. Tactician, I'm sorry. Man, this Indie Gala, pretty good games. Uh oh, Flesh Fiend. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to try to save my Battle Technician, but I think that is a trick. Because it will still die next turn. And I would much rather have a level 2 Ionic War Charger in my body, in my play. At least post combat, I'll force him to move out. Actually, six two. Ah, put this guy at the end of the lane here. What the hell? Take six. Do I want Venom Fang. Venom Fang is so useful. It's no Shimmering Serpent though. I mean, maybe I just play Shambler and Sentry and forget about the Venom Fang. But my deck has no actual, besides Seal of Tarsus, has no actual removal. Oh wait, I have Ghastly Touch, which I just chucked. Where's Seal of Tarsus? Level 1 Seal of Tarsus is minus 1, minus 1, or minus 2, minus 2. I think it's minus 2, minus 2. I think. I'll go look it up. Clearly that's what I want to gamble on right now. I want to take, tw I want to bet 12 life that I'm going to draw Seal of Tarsus. Seal. Seal of Tarsus. Minus two, minus two. Oh god. This is not looking great at all. What the heck do you do? Oh right, you're annoying. And you have mobility? What a dick. Am I gonna bet 12 life that I have Teal of Tarsus? I think the answer is no. In fact, the answer is let's make this block right now. If I move out, she's just gonna move out next turn and jerk me around. So I have to stay here and take it. And then I can't play any creature next door, so. Or I could play this here. Poison this person. That's not really. Eh, I'll kill that thing eventually. I'd rather level the sentry. Yeah, okay. Let's see if you move away. Damn it! I drew Seal of Tarsus! I didn't believe it. No, it's level. It's level. See, it's minus two, minus two at level one. I didn't believe, guys. I should have believed in the heart of the cards. I should just bet six life on drawing that. <sighs> I remember, Seal of Tarsus is the one at level 1 where it's minus 2, minus 2, as opposed to Seal of Derpwood, which is plus 1, plus 1. At level 1, it's actually better. Better. It's like minus 8 or something at level 2. Yeah. And then minus 16, minus 16. This card is not as good as Seal of Derpwood. I should have believed in my heart of my cards, but nope, here we are. Now I'm gonna play like a Hydra and a Seal or something. It's gonna be all awkward all around. I also think that I need to stall out against this deck. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what just happened? Besides me getting rolled. Okay, if I play Seal of Tarsus in lane one, I get value because I kill the Field Marshal. 
And then I guess we can finally remove this cross mating because that's an annoying thing to be around with. All right, let's do that. Oh man, that sounds right to me. The heart of the cards is awesome. It's the ability to top deck everything you'd ever want. All right, value, quote unquote. Not really. I'm really behind here, dudes. I'm really behind here, guys. It's not looking great. I'm gonna get run over in level two. Battle technician. That's great, except he is a character. Wow, that frostbait is really annoying when it actually has the um, the allied. That's super annoying. Look, man, back in the back in the Egyptian days, they didn't care if you che if you cheated at like games using divine rights. Can you say, man? Yugi's busted. Yu-Gi-Oh's busted. Heart of the Cards busted. I guess I play a bear. It gives me a 10-10. Oh man. None of my creatures gonna live. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no. That did not just happen. Seal of Derpwood. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This deck is not gonna race fast enough for Seal of Derpwood. This deck isn't gonna race fast enough for Seal of Derpwood, but I guess I gotta try. Oh look, I drew Seal of Tarsus, which doesn't help against a Seal of Derpwood deck. Oh, unless I draw it on the turn right after he does it, or like on a on a summon second creature, or right before, or like right he only has one creature. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, these cards are awful. How am I going to push through damage? I'm like, there's no way I'm going to... He's going to get the plus 9, plus 9, and the plus 30, plus 30. And I'm going to get derp-wooded. I'm calling it right now. I'm going to get derp-wooded. Man, I thought the point of 4 faction draft was you're not supposed to seal seal of derp-wood. As often. Clearly, I was mistaken. Seal derp-wood is only an awesome card when I have seal of derp-wood. Just like everything in fighting games is only awesome when I can do it. It's like massively good DP, it's okay if I, my character has it. When the other person has it, you have to whine about it a lot and go on forums and stuff. That's how it works. So theoretically the way to beat Seal of Derpwood is you need to basically open lane a bunch of your creatures and like pass through tons of damage. But I really wanted, to, I, I really felt I had to play the Battle Technician there. For the boost. But, could be wrong. The real problem is this hand is like all these creatures are weak and Seal of Tarsus is a good play, but it's going to be bad. So there's two opportunities. You try to wipe their board every turn, which if you're wiping the board every turn, you're probably going to win anyways. Um, or you basically open lane all your creatures and go all out aggro, try to crush him before he can get to level 3 seal. I don't think that's going to happen because he's at 100 life, player level 2. This is my hand. I'm going to die to level 3 seal. We all know it's coming. I'm already down 10 life. I'm at 10%. I've already lost 10%. But when you see seal, basically you have to... Uh, basically you have to open lane dudes. Also in draft, because of seal Derpwood and because of Gloomfiend, both of which are in the most popular faction right now, Nekara and Utero, you should never, ever, 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 ever put a situation where a minus one minus one like swing either way from Gloomfiend or seal a derpwood level one will like will make your creature die or whatever will let him trade or whatever or let his creature survive you need to win every you must win every combat by two. Oh fuck you <laughs> uh, why why did it take him so long to think of that really I'm still playing this on this thing but like why has it got to be like that, man? Now I two for one myself. 
Just trying to get here. Awful. It begins. My, my inevitable dying begins. At least I can block with this. Oh my god, all level ones. This game is over. I'm gonna die to level, level three to Derpwood. Seal at Derpwood. I like how he played Seal at, He played double Seal. I'm so good at running into people. Like the time I played somebody who was like 1.3 siphon, 1.4 siphon, 2.1 siphon. I mean, my response was menu concede. I didn't concede actually, but I should have because I died at like 2.2 or 2.3. It was like ridiculous. I was like, I got siphoned three times in a row. I've been seal a derp with it double times, multiple times like this, double times in a row. Well, I'm gonna die. I'm so going to die. This is super interesting. Well, we can get the block here. Do this. I guess I can play Tangle Sprout and then he can move out of the way. Oh, all level ones. Do I have level two cards in my deck? Oh, this is not how you beat Seal of Derpwood. This is how you lose to Seal of Derpwood. Okay, this game's over. <laughs> uh, let's just go to the next game. I just want to see at this point how big this creature is going to get in level 3. I'm super curious. And he has two level 2s. Well, on the plus side, even without Seal of Derpwood, I think I would have lost this game because I have I played nothing but like I played nothing but crap these last couple turns. This level two is awful, and when you have an awful level two, it just sets you up for an awful level three. And it's really time to go back to a Terra Lottery. That's what I feel like it is. I mean, I guess you could do this. All sorts of awful. I think it's just gonna move anyways. It is a snowball effect. That's why you need more. That's why you need consistent cards that aren't sealed at Derpwood. Oh my god. It doesn't matter. Oh, I drew Seal of Tarsus. That's awful. Now I burn Seal of Tarsus, or basically I don't have Seal of Tarsus for all player level 3. So he's gonna windmill slam Seal of Derpwood and like blow me up. I don't even want to play this game anymore. <laughs> Just go home. Pack it up. Pack it up. Pack it up. All sorts of awfulness. To be fair, I don't think even without Seal of Driftwood, I still would lose. Because look at this. Look at this board. What am I going to do against this? I'm going to die, basically. I can't do shit. Oh, look at my level 2. So awesome. I guess I'll level this so I have a level 3 lying around. Uh, I actually would rather take this card out. This is awful. This is awful. I might not even get to the point where I get killed by Seal of Derpwood. Ugh. I'm going to look at this uh, this pack that uh, BL, BL linked me to. Oh good, Seal of Derpwood, I'm dead now. I don't even care. Whatever. We're out of here. Let's just hit spacebar and get out of here. You know what? I don't even bother. Nope. <laughs> nope. Let's not watch this. Let's not watch this. <laughs> nope. Nope.com. Nope.com. Normally, I don't concede, but when it's Seal of Derpwood, I mean, really... It's like when you get level 3 by Virgil after not snapping him in, you might as well just hit start. I mean, really, we don't need to see this. Nobody needs to see this. And that's how you lose to Seal of Derpwood. The derpiest card in draft, by far. I see. Well, I also have one of these. Um, yeah, I also have one of these. Now, it's a bit Venom Fang. Duh. And that's also why you force Uterra, by the way. So you get you get a shot at Seal of Dirtwood. I love how on 1.4 he played that card to not even get the trade against my battle technician, and it was totally the right move. 
Oh man, I can't wait for this to be like the first band card in Soul Forge. Or something. I don't know. I don't know what they'll do with it. I see. Uh, trade there. I can move over. I don't want to move over. I can move over and block. I don't want to block. I can block with this card. Yep. Block with this card. That kills it. Push four damage through. Block here? Yeah, I'll block here, I guess. Block here and then move over, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Uh, we're doing this for sure. Do I want to block the 5-5? Five five? Uh, or do I want to play this guy over here? I'll block the 5-5. Five five. Tacticians. I can move out of the way after I get the block. And then smash something else. Battle Technician. That's what I want with a board like this. And I want Bear. Just play Bear. I should just play Bear. Let's just go all out try to crush in level 2. Because these cards are all great in level 2. 9-12. 9-9 armor 3. 10-10. Just go all out. Ugh. I'm not even really salty about Seal at Dirtwood because that's basically how you play the card. I mean, the guy did it right. His deck was his deck was good. His deck was drawing better. What am I gonna do? Basically, I'm just gonna get effed. Oh, the value. Oh, value. I love it. I love the value. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the bear. <laughs> Try to go for the for the level two blowout. Let's go, Corpulent Shambler and Lyrian Hydra. What are you level two, Lyrian Hydra? Nine ten. Yeah. Let's put that pressure on and go. Man, I think War Charger stats are amazing. I totally forgot this card existed because this card has been removed. Also, I know I've been wondering this the whole time. Oh, nice. Um, in the patch notes, they tell you which cards from Alpha is still in the game. So you don't have to be an idiot like me and just like wonder. They actually tell you. Wow, that was a really good play because I am not... That Hulk is going to live and I'm going to be really sad. Oh, whatever. That's a change that I'm going to do this. Seal of Tarsus, do I want to do it? I don't know. Oh, I have Gloomfiend. I don't want to play Seal of Tarsus. Screw this. I have Venom Fang level 2. Drawing cards. That's okay. Only one level 2. That's what I want to see. Do I play Seal of Tarsus here? Yeah, that card is annoying. I probably want to kill it. Like, otherwise he'll regenerate that guy. That'll be annoying. That's really annoying. I can't kill his uh, spider. He's going to give something regen. This is going to be super annoying. Seal of Tarsus does nothing. It puts it down to 8, then you to 5, you'll be at 3, then I can get the block, but the block will kill it anyways. That's gonna die. Bloom Fiend here kills this. Oh, I could play Gloom Fiend, Gloom Fiend the Spider, and then Seal of Tarsus. Not even good. Puts it to 7, it puts it at 7, 9. Minus three, basically. So it's a five. It's a five. Uh, five seven. I might get the kill. It'll still activate, but I'll I'll have seal for level three. Seal it. 
Level 3 seal. Oh, is seal good enough to level over Venom Fang? It's consistent, so I'll see it. Okay, we're gonna try it, and maybe I'll regret this. Maybe I'll regret this, but we'll see. And you regen. And I'm not at two, because being, I mean, I'm at two, because being at one would be awful, because that's asking to be derp wooded or, well, derp wooded would matter in this case. Oh no, Shimmerfang Serpent, you're so smart. You put it in the middle where I want to play my things. That makes me sad. Wow, that also makes me sad. Many of these plays make me sad. Oh, F you. I knew that was going to F you. Plus five attack? Yeah. Well, I'm still doing this. Plus five attack? Don't mind if I do. I need to one-shot this serpent, even though it's going to kill me. Nanosorm, useless. Grow of Harvest, Harvest Huntress. Probably the card I should have leveled. Where's my bear? Clearly, I should have leveled Grow of Huntress over. Actually, I have two Grow of Huntresses, so that might be the other one. We don't know. I guess I got level two Hydra. Oh my goodness. Now he's got giants? Ugh. An explosive divine. That's pretty funny. I have, to, I have to admit, that was super funny. I found it funny. Huntress it is! And nothing is living, so... Uh, let's open lane my Hydra. I have a life lead, and I have, I'm going to have a pretty big life lead after this. Oh, there's the Ionic War Charger that we want to block and have slightly more life. Rut Rose. Well, that's pretty good. Dang it, nothing I do. Uh, I want the pump. Um, the Hydra would make it, what, 10, 11? That doesn't help. It's still gonna die. Um, the War Charger, I guess? I guess. Oh, look, Seal of Tarsus. Alright, now you're going to do work, because we're going to play level 3, and I need your minus 8, minus 8. Like here, maybe. I don't know. Well, that is a huge problem. Goodbye, War Charger. That makes me sad. Wow, this went... This went poorly. Well, I guess, I, I guess we're just going to wipe the board. This is minus eight, minus eight, right? I guess. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I drew two level twos. Oh, wait, it's player level three. What? Yeah, this is gonna... Yeah, this is bad. This is officially really bad. Like... Pretty bad. Pretty much. I'm gonna lose all my momentum and die now. Bad. Um, yep. Uh, not a lot to say other than that. Well. How much plus attacks do you give? Plus eight? Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
Why do I want to play the robot in front of the giant? Oh, because it'll live. I forgot. I forgot the robot had armor. I didn't even think. I forgot. My bad. That was awful. That was a misplay. You're right. I totally thought of that, but I was like, it doesn't matter because my robot only has nine life. I forgot it has armor. This is what happens when old card you play with old cards, man. I totally forgot what these cards, what some of these cards work like. Well, I'm gonna live with this crappiness at this point. Um, well, I mean, at least I'll boost. Wait, yes, I will boost this enough so the zombie will kill the giant. Can I target my own creature? Plus 8 is 14. That's not really enough. Uh, it's too late for that. Uh, I guess I play two level 3s. And hope to drop well on level 4. I don't really like that guy living. Um, I mean, this guy will live with no life to be able to move. Ah, uh, this has gone to hell. <laughs> Oops. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, uh, that was a misplay. Awful. I totally just looked at the numbers and was like, 9, 9, my creature's still gonna die. Oh, wait, he has armor. Wah, wah, wah. That was wah, wah, tastic. And just play the reinforcement, and just eat 17. Well, I was looking like that would have been a pretty decent play. I mean, the leveled reinforcements would be really good. Well, this has been come all sorts of badness. All right, well, I'm playing my level two cards, clearly. Great! Everything's gonna get regen and everything's gonna die. I feel like I should just swim for 15 at this point. Move over, swing for 15. I mean, this is gonna be the block. And then play Grove Huntress in front of this thing. And then buff the War Charger. Just enough to kill it, one shot. And then just take a massive damage next turn. That sounds like a plan to me. Alright, gotta remember, this thing really has 20 life. I might remember how armor works. Oh god. Time to die. Man, Catacomb Spider has a lot of health. That's sort of ridiculous. I gotta kill that thing. I think I'm gonna die. I mean, I guess I can start clearing the board ish. Okay, well, I guess this works. And I guess this works. All I have to do is have him drop poorly, or me drop poorly. That'll also work. That'll also work. Uh, what is this? Plus three? Yeah, okay. Well, that's awful. Oh, man. Going to die. How do I want to die today? Hmm. Do I want to die today? Well, screwed. Uh, didn't get enough out of this. Oh well, time to go. Time to go to one two.
What do you give? Plus five? I guess I can use it on the Hydra and it lives with one health. That's awesome. Oh, man. Awfulness all around. Ugh. GG life. GG life. Well, GG life. Well, we're dead. <laughs> we are uh, super dead. I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm like, you get the block with the war charger. Then I play Gloom Fiend to block the snake. Gloom Fiend the war, the giant. It's still not enough. And then I, I like take 20 damage next turn. Well, whatever. I didn't see the reinforcements, so clearly it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, right. I forgot the thing gives poison. I'm totally dead. <laughs> Wait a minute. I forgot that thing gives poison. Oh, yeah. I'm like totally dead. Not just mostly dead. So one pump and I'm dead? Let me place creatures. Well, with this hand, nothing's gonna happen. I'm just gonna die because when I get poison four, that's not enough. Well, we're dead. Pass the turn. And he had Spore Lord! Man, this guy won the draft and he won the game. I have no words. Must be nice to have so many awesome cards. Oh, that was awful. Even with the misplay, I guess I could take solace in the fact that even if uh, even with the right play, I would have died. How do I change this? Uh... That's right, baby. Basically, if I if I get one three, and this is, this is the last time we'll see this weekend warrior event ever on my stream, because I'll be basically I'll, I'll play this draft twice and gotten one threes. And then I'll just play, uh, I'll just make myself feel better by playing the uh, 3.1 aka Utera Lottery off stream. And I'll be like, at least go 2 2 there. What's up, Cibola? I'm actually surprised people are playing this game because this is about to end in like an hour. I bet I meant this uh, format. I think I'm more annoyed that I basically lost to Seal of Dripwood, but like, he didn't even need Seal of Dripwood to beat me. That deck just like, my deck just imploded so much. Oh man, I'm so tempted right here. Right here. I mean, it's a level gated card. Yeah, I don't think this card is worth it. <laughs> I'd rather play dudes. But is it Spore Lord like uh, heroic? Not you. I'm talking that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the second match I played, where my deck imploded, and so it didn't. He had seal. I got sealed out, which we all saw coming from like a mile away. But the uh, other guy, basically, he even he didn't have seal. He would have rolled me because I drew nothing but like, I was I had like one of the worst level twos ever. No, that last match was fair. Your deck was better, and you played better, so you deserve to win. What does this guy do again? Oh, right. This guy's annoying. Gotta kill this dude. Oh, man. Will I go 2-2 two, two or 1-3? Don't bother blocking. No, I gotta kill that guy. Oh, he did whiff the ally. You son of a... I didn't notice. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't notice. I totally didn't notice. Oops. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, what a twist. It's true, but you get to keep him. I don't have three Spore Lords yet. I, I would actually draft Spore Lord just to have Spore Lord. Cause I want to build a deck with with the uh, plants. 
Or use Batanimate? That doesn't really... I mean, that doesn't help. What do you use? I guess you use... Actually, wait, what are plants? Oh, no, that's right. You use, um... That dude that we don't see used to sell the time. Uh, Leaf King Progenitor. He's a plant, right? Uh, do I want Venom Fang? I don't think so. I think you want Grove Matriarch, because this card sticks around. I totally didn't notice he with the armor. I just assumed that he got allied. I'm so great. Oh man, Wayward Patriarch triggers for, triggers for Battle Technician. That's a Nambo. Nambo time. I just go Necro Slime Grove Hunters. Call this a light. Okay, Ghastly Renewal. Use Groot. That's the card I need to Groot. That's right. Oh, wow. Sonic Pulse. Oh, man. Wayward Patriarch, right? Now is the time, right? <laughs> this is like the, the exact situation I play Wayward Patriarch in. And like the only time it benefits my deck. I know. <laughs> Wayward Patriarch value. He, he made it for me. What the? This guy already won. He got Kage Bunshin no Paladin. Oh man, we have a Patriarch value, here we come. Remember to do this before I play Grove Hunters. I think I'm playing Grove Hunters over Necro Slime. I think? Or should I play Necro Slime? My deck should be good. But what I learned is when you don't have consistent, things don't always work out. My deck is quite decent. That's why the second game was heartbreaking, man. I, I really do feel the deck can beat uh, Seal of Derpwood, but it needs to, like, I need to draw level 2s during level 2 to stand a chance. <laughs> so do I Battle Technician here, or do I Necro Slime? We're coming up on 2. The Grove Hunter's Pump would be pretty decent, but I think Necro Slime would be really good because I have a Matriarch out that hasn't even died yet, so... I'm going to play the Necro Slime. The stream can tell me what they would have done differently. You are at Seal of Tarsus. Five or less attack. That's none of these cards. Oh man, is it time for Seal of Tarsus? Wow, Kage Bunshin no Paladin all over the place. Time to seal Atarsis this up. Oh, he's just going to move back in. Oh, wait, I get value now from this card. Uh, I get value from this card now. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. I get total value from this card. Five or less attack now that my battle technician is dead. Let's go. And before I'm stupid, I need to necro slime my seedling before it dies, right? Yes. Make the pro plays. Oh, so you got paired with zero zero. Well, I was one one, so that's interesting. Well, I'm not surprised because this draft is ending. Like, you won't be able to enter it in an hour, and everyone's trying to clear out their things. Oh man, he's gonna Kage Bunshin me to death. Kage Bunshin! This card, yo. Kage Bunshin me. No, Sonic Pulse! Why? Why you gotta do a guy like that? And he played Seal. Did he just play Seal of Kadakis? Now I, now I desperately want to win this game. This card skills terribly, right? That was Seal of Kadakis, right? Where is it? Alright, so he's going to be able to do 25 damage at player level 4. So, need to kill, need to end the game before then. Well, get the kill there, get the kill there. I guess we'll just empty lane this dude. I guess I play Grove Hunters and then buff my Forge Plate Sentry. Sounds like a plan to me. It's a decent underdrop in level 3. Oh. 
Battle Technician, Gloom Fiend. These are cards I like to see. I mean, at this point, I would be... I'm pretty sure you just get paired with whoever is still in the queue. Oh, I gave him value for Technosmith. I feel like a chump. I guess I should have thought of that and played the pump on my Fangwood Bear. I didn't think of that. I gave him value for Technosmith. I feel, I feel awful. I would much rather have Gloom Fiend level 3. And then I get to swing 7 to the face right here. Over Necro Slime level 3. Yeah, I'd rather have Gloom Fiend. Gloom Fiend level 3 is a huge value jump, right? It's like minus 2 to minus 5, yeah. Now we're cruising. Boom. Oh yeah, good stuff. Oh man, maybe I'll play Ghastly Renewal. No, I don't think so. Actually, maybe I will play Ghastly Touch, though. Because he's totally going to battle my technician. Or tactician. It's a tactician, not a technician. Oh man, I don't even notice. It's a tactician. Not a tactician, it's a tactician. So basically, he's actually behind enemy line, Not behind, like, the general lines doing shit. He's not even on the field. Oh man, he got this. Oh man, he got it that time. Oh, ghastly touch. Here comes some value. Heart of the cards. He needs heart of the cards. Uh, unfortunately for you, I have ghastly touch. Okay, well, this is pretty crazy. Well, this just snowballed out of uh, out of the effect out of out of nowhere. Okay, pretty sure we're gonna win. Pretty sure we're going two two today. Yay! Oh man, is that hard of cards in Japanese? That's awesome. Cause I have level two battle technician, and I have these dudes, which give a plus what? Plus five, man. We're going. Okay, I win. I'm pretty sure I win. Yes, even without Battle Technician. Show off! Gotta show off! No, I just want to make sure I got it. Well, there we go. So, final score of 2-2. Clearly, I should open this, right? Yay, 2-2. I did slightly better. What's in the pack? I don't know. Jank? Eh, Flamebank Invoker. That card's actually used in a deck, right? Yes. Oh. Kagembushin no Paladin. Oh yeah, that totally would have solved him. Oh yeah, Paladin. I, I can read that much. I can read Katakana. Somewhat. That's awesome. Also, I realize it's called a simulacrum, so it should be Kage Bunshin no Simulacrum or something like that, but whatever. Paladin, Paladium, whatever. That guy really wins because he got a legendary. Oh, look at this. It's 11 o'clock. Nice. Alright, well, shout outs to everybody Zip, Wes, Zenry, Sabola 3D for beating me up like crazy <laughs> and exposing my misplays. Um, Thank you for all joining this chat. Uh, it's been a pretty short uh, Soul Forge Monday, I know. That draft went by pretty quickly, but I'm pretty tired, so this is actually really fortuitous for me. I'm totally going to go to bed. Um, it's been a long weekend for various reasons. Anyways, I'll see everybody next week for another Soul Forge Monday, where we'll be back to, I guess, regular draft. It's okay. Kage Bunshin no Seradin. I'm no Paladin. Blah, blah, blah. I love it. That's, that's what I'm calling that card. Seal the deep wood is seal the derp wood because why not? Um, there may be a surprise stream, but probably won't be so forge related. So zip, you might want to try to clear your schedule. Oh, just saying. No, we'll see. Anyways, good night, and I'll see everybody next week for another Soul Forge Monday. Thank you. Bye. That's the ROM button. Bye. <laughs>